What's up everybody, Lee Sniper 16 here, and I'm doing a little tutorial on how to make your own Minecraft server for, you know, whatever operating system you're using. Well, now, basically all of them, but, you know, for Windows and Windows 8 or Windows XP, because I believe they're all, like, basically the Windows are almost the same, I believe, almost, but Windows 8, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I'm running on Windows 8. If you guys don't believe me, then, I don't know, you don't see the little start. Oh, yeah, there is the start. Oh, yeah, but it takes you to that. Uh, but, uh, start putting it in here. Okay, so first, what you guys gonna do is make your own little folder called server. Uh, okay, and that this should not pop up, but I already have everything in here for you guys. Um, so you know, make your little thingy. Let me drag it over here. Oh, not there. Over here. Right. Okay, there. Okay. Then what you're gonna do is basically go to Google. You're gonna go to Minecraft. Uh, to make a little vanilla one, you just go to Minecraft. Uh, dot net. Yeah, you should go there. Uh, click on download. We open this a little bit more better for you guys. Okay, then you're gonna click on Minecraft underscore or whatever server dot exe, and it's gonna download it for you. Uh, mine's just kind of going slow, so ignore that. I already have it, so I already have it on mine. So I'm gonna go open my little folder. You're gonna drag it in into here, cause then you don't want all the files opening up all over your your desktop and being all ugly and everything. So you're gonna put it into the little folder. You're gonna open it up, and a lot of files should come up. You know your server properties and everything. Uh, I do not want to click it because I would have to delete it and everything. So I'm gonna delete it because I don't need it. Okay, so if you guys just want to make a little vanilla Minecraft server, you um, you're already done with this bi video basically. So you know, guys, bye. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. But yeah, so um, uh, for a craft bucket server, what you're gonna do is that basically you're gonna have to go to bucket. Uh, go over here. Uh, DL. Sorry dlbucket.org. I'll leave it in the description for you guys could you know go straight to there. Uh, you're gonna go to what's new, and it's gonna pop up. And you go to development builds because as today 1.1.5.1 1. 1 just came out uh, today. So you're gonna click on over here where it says latest development build download. You're gonna click there. You're gonna download it. What you're gonna do is basically you're gonna put in your little folder, like uh, make a folder for it, put it in there. Uh, you're gonna want to rename it because I know it's gonna be long, like a long little thing. You're gonna want to rename it. You're gonna want to rename it to Craft Bucket uh, point one. I mean, sorry, not point one. Craft Bucket one point five point one point. I mean, dot jar. Um, and it should be a jar file. If it, if it's not a jar file, make it to your jar. I'm going too fast uh, to a jar file. Um, and then what you're gonna do is make a, basically make a text folder. Okay, I'm sorry, I messed up with my words. I'm sorry, guys. It's just uh, doing this really fast. I don't want to, you know, make the video too long. Okay, so. You're gonna make a little, uh, you know, new notepad d documented file, and what you're gonna do is that it's gonna be a text uh, document file. Like I said, you're gonna name it run dot text. Then you're gonna type in everything here, or you could just basically go to my description, uh, click on um, you know, I mean, not click, uh, copy this thingy, you know, just copy and just paste it here like that. Oh my God, yo, why did I do that? But yeah, so you're just gonna you know do that just once, not twice like how I did, uh, and everything should be good. Um, and you're gonna want to save it, save, uh, blah blah. You're gonna want to rename it back. To, you're gonna want to make it into a bat file now. Uh, it's gonna say yes. So you know, just go to there. Uh, it's gonna Windows batch file. There you go. Uh, for some of you guys that are wondering, um how I uh, you know got this little dot thingy at the end for Windows 8 people uh, you're gonna want to go to details I believe is it details um, hold up okay here we go you're gonna go to show, uh, show slash side you're gonna go to file name extensions and the extension should come out um, that's how I have it for creating my thingies faster and everything for I don't have to you know convert it into this kind of file so yeah uh, I got that done now we could go back to the little home thingy. Okay, then what you're gonna do is that sometimes the path won't pick it up. It'll say something error path, whatever. But um, since mine's working and everything, I have the path right corrected. Um, it's re it, it's going all right, so it's creating a spawn and everything already. So if it, if you have your path already all done, but you just need it, you know, a new update of your Minecraft thingy, you know, just I guess could go to that thing I told you. But um, so everything's working fine for me. As you can see, it's done. I could just go on my server right now, which uh, let me go on right now. Log in. I'm using Spax texture pack, so you might, you know, be like, "Hey, what texture pack are you using?" I'm using Spax. Spax texture pack. Um, 
and let's go to my one that's already pour forward so people could you know you could join me but um, my internet is horrible like I was saying so don't join me and no I'm not gonna leave my IP in the description guys because this is it'll be a private server uh, for whenever I feel like doing private stuff so you know you have your little server up already it's like all fine blah 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 uh, oh they finally fixed that in 1.5.1 they fixed it where it seemed like one block was higher and it was like what the hell but um yeah so we click this out quick game okay so like I said the path thing might not work for you guys let me just stop it real quick slash stop there you go okay so what you're gonna do is basically go to your computer and you're gonna go to your system properties and let me open up this more and then you're gonna go to advanced system settings here I got to environment variables but make sure you're in the advanced tab the advanced tab and you're gonna go to environment variables or whatever you're gonna go scrolling down on this little second folder thingy whatever you're gonna click here do not click new edit or, or I mean not new or delete do not click one of those two you're gonna click on edit you're gonna go all the way in the end make sure you're in the end and then you're gonna want to click on oh you're gonna want um, to put in your Java path code and then sorry about that. um but yeah you're gonna want to put in your Java path code for your craft bucket folder thingy and you're gonna click OK but I'm gonna click cancel because I don't want you know anything you know, whatever I did right now to it uh, messing it up on my computer but yeah so I didn't have to do it because I I guess I didn't have to do it I don't, I don't know why but um yeah so we could cancel we could cancel in this uh but you're gonna click on OK on all of them um just for you guys who changed it. Uh, my operating system is 64 bit, as you can see there. Blah, blah, blah. You can see all my system thingies, I guess, if you guys want right now. Um, you know, whatever phone number, your, my RAM, 32 gigabyte RAM, processor, my rating, 5.9, whatever. Um, close. Uh, yes, I do have Afterburner and all this stuff. So, okay, whatever. Um, go back to the main thing. Uh, so, once you do that, it should work. You could just run it and everything should pop up and everything should run all fine. Uh, for Windows 8, I don't know if this is just for Windows 8 or if it's just because of me and my stupidness. But um, sometimes the little folder uh, dot text file won't come up, like this for server 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 dot properties. Um, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna get Notepad plus plus, and it should come up. And there's everything you know. You could uh, put your max players. Like let's say I just want uh, 10 max players, and your mode of your day. Like if you want it colorful, um, I believe I forget how it was. Yeah, there you go. It was like that. Uh, let's say I wanted to say elite sniper x16 um, server and uh, for and uh, server okay and then let's say you want it whitelisted you could do uh, true and stuff so there's everything basically and you could enable command blocks but you have to get a command block in the game and then you have to put it in stuff and if you online mode if you want it cracked or not online mode True, that means it's not cracked. That means you have to have, you know, your own premium account. If you want it cracked, just uh, put it on false. And cracked people could, um, you know, join your server. So, let's go there. You're going to go to run.bat and everything that I said should run. If you want to put more RAM into your server, you could just edit the, uh, let me close this. You could just edit by go to edit. And this thing should pop up. Let's say I want to put about uh, 2 gigs of RAM on mine because I don't mind the mine runs like that so let's put H and then let's put this to 1 this goes to 4 and then this goes to 8 and then save and go here and run oh click twice I think oh no okay it's running and uh, boom there so run mine took not even a second to even open this thingy did it really really fast Okay, and then what you could do is just open up your Minecraft, log in into your you know, regular Minecraft thing premium. Make sure uh, mine's premium, so you know whatever. Uh, let it log in. There you go. Now it says my name thingy in blue and red because I have it like that. M little question marks comes out because I have no idea why. It's just stupid. So you can see I changed it to ten instead of it was twenty. And now my server is running on two gigs of RAM, and I'm not whitelisted in my own server. Um, white. Wait, where is it? Whitelist. Add. Elite sniper x16. There, 
Now I'm added to my own server. Yeah. There you go. Now I'm wirelessed to my own server. Uh, I have fun on my own server. Okay. Um. Uh. If you guys need to get your own IP for you know um your own IP, you could just go to ipchicken.com. Ipchicken.com. And there's your IP. Uh, you could share it to other people if you want, like people to join. But if you just want, you know, yourself or like a friend that's, you know, you're using your same internet, you could just do slash. I mean, you could just do in your, you know, type in the server thing. It's put localhost. But for your other friend that's not like the person that's running on the server on the main computer, you could just do localhost. But for people that you're using the same internet, and everything, you could just go to. Um, let me just close this. Uh, let me go to my search thingy. Uh, cmd you go cmd uh, your command prompt ip config and then you could just uh, tell them to use this ip right here you could just tell them 192 blah blah and if you need to perfor port forward it for other people could you know join like sometimes you will have to do it so what you're going to do is that you're going to log into your your um your um um your netgear router or whatever router you have you have to type in your um your IP uh, IP getaway or whatever and your thing should always be admin and password I believe but some people change it because some people already know this like me I have to change mine because I never changed it after a year so you can see my IP address thing there for Minecraft server uh, is there and everything um, I don't believe you have to change anything about this so um, mine's all good uh, people could join it so you know people today that are watching this you could just join the server but I'm not gonna have it up because I'm not gonna do anything with the server I believe I don't know but um yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it really helped you on making a 1.5.1 server and remember uh, whenever a new update of craft bucket comes up just you know change it delete your old one and put in a new one but yeah guys I hope you guys really enjoyed and usually you'll plug in folder <laughs> I keep on talking why 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 I had to end this video already Alright guys, so like I was saying before, before I got interrupted, um, hope you guys enjoyed this little thingy, uh, video on how making your own little server, um, and leave a like and comment if you need any help. I'll try to help you with the best I can. Um, sometimes this won't work. I know it wouldn't work on some of you guys. Where is it? Uh, this little thing won't work for you guys, for some of you. So if you um, you know, need help on this, I would try to help you. But if it if my help doesn't you know help you try to look for other video um you know they'll help you so yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed this video hope it really helped you and remember leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel peace guys call it anything anything you want but remember it's gonna be a free mod packer and everything okay so next you're gonna do is make three new files basically make a bin core mods and mods but if you need a configure a configuration file then make it because some mods need some configuration